With the bulk of Cyberpunk 2077 finished, CD Projekt has now shuffled its priorities, putting the bulk of its resources into developing the next mainline Witcher game, codenamed Polaris. During an earning call to discuss a 2023 fiscal year, CD Projekt revealed that it is dedicating a bulk of its efforts to developing the next installment in its wildly popular fantasy-themed RPG series. CD Projekt was fully transparent with investors with those listening in on the call showing exactly how many developers are being allotted to its current and future projects. This chart reveals that it has over 600 developers at the studios, over 400 of whom are assigned to Polaris' development. Orion, the codename for the next installment of Cyberpunk franchise, also has over 47 developers currently assigned to it as well. This is probably the developers of the newly opened Boston CG Project branch, Right now, the project is in the concept stage of development. The other two projects of note that have double numbers of developers working on them is Project Hadar and Project Sirius. Project Sirius is probably in full swing at Molasses Flood. The game studio working on Sirius is a rather small studio. It is working on some form of a Witcher game that may or may not be roguelike. Um, project Hadar is a CG project in-house Hush Hush original IP. It will not be based on any books or tabletops, but a completely original idea. And by the number of developers, it seems to be in the concept phase. But the only studio tied to Hadar seems to be the main branch of CG Project, possibly being the third future game in their lineup to be released. Uh, the other eight developers that were not signified to be working on any projects, uh, I assume, are working on Canis Majoris, uh, which should be the Witcher remake which seems to be completely on the back burner in regards to everything else that CD Projekt is working on. But this is not the first time CD Projekt has disclosed that a good portion of its employees are working on the next Witcher game. In the late November during its quarter 3 2023 earnings report, CD Projekt revealed that almost 330 of the developers, which is nearly 50% of their staff, were tasked with developing the project. With today's announcement, some quick math shows that the number of now is over half of the development team, about 64%. That increase in developers is likely due to, in part, of Cyberpunk 2077 team moving over to work on Witcher 4. CD Projekt confirmed that a new Witcher game was in development back in 2022. While details on the next entry are slim, we do know that it will run on Unreal Engine 5, which is a fantastic engine, but, you know, what about Red Engine? Oh, wait, that's right, that's right. They chunked that into the Vestula. Uh, maybe it'll float its way to Boston for the Cyberpunk sequel, but CD Projekt Red game director Sebastian Kaleba said in an interview last December with Lega Nerd that the goal of the next entry is to, quote, build something that goes beyond the previous The Witcher and that manages to tell something more intense with also more intense gameplay. But don't expect The Witcher 4 anytime soon, though. As CG Project Red studio president and co-CEO Adam Kaczynski said in 2022 that the project was at least three years away. And you may be thinking, hey, it can come out next year. Well, noting on today's earning calls, it was disclosed that Polaris' project stage is in pre-production. And that's what happens when you have spent the last two years taking a broken game and turning it into an extraordinary game. 